Hello, it's James and the 11 Plus Tutors again. Um, today I'm just bringing you a very small um, video about an area of maths that kids find tricky and generally comes up in 11 Plus exams. It's the idea of ratio and proportion. I always think the sign of good teaching is we can um, really reduce something down to one core idea that a child can lock onto and it can really help them. Uh, so with, with this, I always teach children the number one thing to remember with any ratio or proportion type question is find the value of one part, one unit, okay, by dividing. I think that is, that is key to all of this. So that I get children to write that down first before we do anything else. Um, so last year, one of the exams, I'm not going to say which one, there was a, a question which looked very similar to this. Um, two widgets have an average weight of 12 kilograms. The heavier one is twice as heavy as the light one. The light one weighs what? Okay, so what we need to do is we need to think about how this translates to a ratio split. Because generally what I see with ratio is you never get the ratio written like this in the exam paper, it's hidden in the worded question. But I say to children, when you see this kind of thing, twice as much as, generally means this. So, it says here, the heavier one, I always tell kids to translate it into ratio split, and then la label it as well in the correct order. So, heavier one, lighter one. So, the heavier one is twice, so you've got two heavy to one light. Heavier one is twice as as heavy as one light one. So what we need to do is know the to total number of parts available in the split that we're dealing with. So two plus one equals three parts, so we've got three parts in total. Then find the value of one part by dividing. So we've got 12 kilograms divided by three equals four. One part of this is worth four kilograms. The lighter one represents the one part of the split. So the answer is, ta-da, four kilograms. And I think the key takeaway from this is, firstly, that we need to divide to find the value of one part, one unit. That's really what we're after here. Once you've got that, the rest is pretty simple. Um, the other key takeaway is, Children need to read a worded question, be able to actually say, ah, that's ratio. So when it says Mary has twice as much as Paul, who has three times as many as Peter, that would translate into a ratio split, which is typically write it in the correct order with a colon in between. I hope you've enjoyed this mini maths explainer. We're going to have more next week. Look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you. Goodbye.